around and stood out. Basically, um, it's really just me and my family making that decision. Um, we sat down with Coach Willie, he was very transparent. Um, you know, he has a history for letting his, you know, his guards, you know, rock out a little bit. And uh, I just really want to do something special when I'm coming back home. So um, I just felt like that was a great opportunity and I didn't want to let it pass up. Pulled up, we, we got there in the evening. Uh, we pulled up in the hotel, it was actually across the street from the gym, so uh, it was cool. That first work, I was at 10.30, I was right across the street, but I was able to, whenever I hit him or he hit me, you know what I'm saying, it was just convenient, just being able to get in the gym at any time, so I'm across the street, so um, that, was definitely, that was definitely convenient. Well, I had knew about Seabrook, uh, way before we started training, because you know he's training all the top guys in the league and stuff like that. But um, he really had knew my uncle. They was boys. He was really rocking with his music. So whenever I was in New York, I'd be like, Uncle, you know what I'm saying? We want to see break boys and trying to get a workout in. Uh, and they had hooked that up. So I was in New York one time. Got one workout in. It was cool. He was like, um, If you're ever in New York, you come back, train. You know what I'm saying? Get ready for the process. So. After the season, uh, this year, I went up there for about a week. Um, it was a great experience. Um, learned a lot from them. Um, that's really how we, but that's really how we really got to know each other. That's really how that really took off.
It's a, it's a huge jump from the pace from college to the league. So you can even see that in workouts. But you know what I'm saying? Ricky is like a robot. He's like a, like a book. So like he already has his stuff ready. He's ready to jump to the next drill before you even finish the other drill. So he would tell me I gotta be boom, 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 boom. I gotta be here, be here, be here. And while I'm doing it, I gotta memorize it, but being able to keep that same pace is what is difficult. So just being able to get used to that, that was definitely an adjustment. Um, and he would know like my percentages, he would know what I shot from the three point, um, free throws, all of that. My assist off ball screens, and <laughs> I'm better shoot going left and right, you know what I'm saying? But so he knew what we had to work on then being able to memorize it. Memorize what I gotta do in the workout and then being able to still make shots while thinking, while being tired, while keeping that pace. It's crazy. So talking to, you know what I'm saying, the younger generation and younger kids trying to, you know, make it to that level. Just being able to keep that in the back of your mind that you gotta be able to do multiple things at once and that the pace is 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 way it's way faster. So Thank you. 
I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> 